Hey there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to Reading Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Today we're continuing our examination of uh, friendship, which books, book, book eight, books eight in uh, eight and nine. Um, we're currently on nine, chapter twelve. Um, uh, chapter ten and eleven. T ten was kind of a mini politics where he gives the regimes and ties the questions of regimes to the types of friendship. And then he continued this a discussion a little bit on uh, eleven. He's continuing this now. He goes, every friendship, this is again, chapter 12, let's go look at this. Every friendship then involves community, cornoia, as has been said. But one might separate out both the friendship of kinfolk and that of comrades. So therefore, in other words, even though all friendships are forms of, are kind of involves the forms of cornoia, or cornoia, communion, right? We can separate out different types of friendships, the friendships of kinfolk, that means relations, kin, blood relations, you know, uh, 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 family relations in that sense, and that of comrades, uh, people who, by comrades, you know, comrade, comrade, means people going through a sharing a experience, sharing through like people who went live through something together okay live you know comrades party members people who are belong to the party together as the communist leftist view comrades workers you know uh, this is like um uh, or people who are brothers of not, not literally brothers but they belong to some association or a, a a things they're not necessarily related by blood in that same way so we can distinguish this, this those who are related by blood and those who are not related by blood for the friendships of fellow citizens, tribesmen, sailors, and all of that sort seems to be okay. I think I have to look at eighteen for a second. I have to go here for a second. I apologize. I have to see note eighteen up here. I hate this. It is a very annoying note. I hit this. Okay. Okay, a friendship of guest workers. Now, okay, okay. I apologize. I just want to make sure that that was the case. It was not something else. I was here, foreigners, right? So, uh, uh, fellow citizens, uh, uh, sailors, uh, uh, citizens, tribesmen. Uh, um, people same tribe or same dime, you know, this could be mean dime in that sense. People same community, citizens in the same city in that sense, uh, same political community. Uh, 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 this is the tribe and dime. I mean, this could mean this. I think this means both. I think this literally means the dime, but also can mean people the same family, kin, kins group. I, don't, I would think we would use kinfolk up here if we meant that, but tribesmen is the people the same. Um, because uh, remember, they call it tribes in the uh, Athens, the Deme. So I think it's Deme. And I think sailors, the same group of ship on a ship. And all that seems to sort of like uh, uh, these are communities. These are seem, these things that uh, the relationship or friendship of this, of, of this tribesmen of the same Deme. This is more like communities, those who share a life together, right? Than friendship. Uh, since they appear to be based on a certain agreement among the parties. Now, uh, this seems, this suggests a contractual, this is people, uh, the libertarian kind of view of the social contract, and say, oh, so you there's a social contract here, the community is a contract. I think it means the agreement is a shared life together. They're living together. They're, they're, the agreement is that they have something in common in the Greek, literally, that there is a certain sharing, that there is a certain aspect of, something in common and i think that i'm a little suspicious of bartlett and yang when they do that they should know better i suspect there's something what is it if i look at something like uh, the brody translation the brody and rao translation um Yeah, common interest for the sake of a common interest. Okay, this is the interesting. 
all such friendships are more like the ones that exist for the sake of a common interest, since they appear to be based on yeah agreement. There's an agreement. There's a shared agreement, literal agreement in that sense. Okay, good. So I, I, it is agreement. So therefore, the libertarians are all oh, libertarian. But here's the agreement. What is the agreement? A shared something on shared interest, shared common uh, aspect among the parties. And with these sorts of friendships, one might also assign the friendship connected with foreigners, strangers, shared interest. So therefore, there's a shared interest. There's something interested here. It's not that these things are not bound by blood. There's two things. There's two types of kanoya. This there's kanoya based on blood, kin, you know, interrelation and blood, and those are based on interest. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Good. Um, but the friendships of kinfolk appears to have many forms, though every one of them appears to depend on a paternal sort. Parents feel affection for their children on the grounds that they are, uh, are something of their own, where children feel affection for their parents on the ground that they themselves are something that comes from them. But parents know that what issues from them to a greater degree than offspring knowing that they issue from the parents. And the begetters feel more united in kinship to their offspring than does the offspring to its maker. And for what comes from the begetter itself is its own. For example, a tooth, a hair, or some or anything whatsoever in relationship to possessor. But the begetter is not at all the offspring's own, or, or is such only to a lesser degree. So that the, is not, the, but the begetter is not the offspring's own in that sense, but only to a lesser degree. So therefore, the, he, he makes the metaphor of this, that uh, the, strength, the relationship is stronger from the p parent to the child than the child to the parent. That the child clearly is begotten or, or something that comes from uh, uh, that, uh, and it comes from an, uh, 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 that, and therefore there is a greater degree of that in that sense. But the the kin, the thing that comes from it, well, it's its own. It, it is its own in that sense. So therefore, therefore, um, the connection to here is a little less stronger in that sense. Um, uh, the, uh, and also that the, um, but the begetter is not at all the offspring's own. Or, but the begetter is not at all the offspring's own. In other words, it's not that necessary that, but only to a less degree. The length of time involved also makes the difference. For parents uh, immediately feel affection for those who are born, whereas offspring feel affection for their parents over a period of time, once they acquire comprehension or perception. So therefore, the, the, the parent, the, the born, you know, the parent, feels affection from here to the child, but the child requires, the affection of the child requires time in the sense, the one who's born in that sense. Um, from these considerations too, it is clear why mothers are more loving than fathers because they, they, it comes from them and that's a they have a more immediate sense of, of, of it's theirs. The, the father is less sure <laughs> in, in that sense. Uh, um, you know, that's the joke, but, you know, you, a man can only know the child is his by paternity test. Uh, the mother knows it's hers because she has it in her and she gives birth to it. Um, next thing, parents then love children as they love themselves, right? Um, uh, from those who come from them are like other selves separating exist. Uh, 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 other selves separately existing, so therefore they, they, they love that parents love the child like themselves because they're they are a version of they're another self of theirs, but existing separately, right? Whereas children love their parents on the grounds that they are born from them, and brothers love each other because they are born from the same parent. So it's a different type of relationship. One comes from them, and these I understand we come from you, but we, we uh, it's it's our our relationships we come from you. They, in other words. The parent loves a child because it's another cell, but the child loves the parent on the grounds that they they come from them, and the brothers love each other. You know, brothers and siblings love each other, 
or, or share have relation a kin for a care for each other because they come from the common source, right? The sameness in relation to these parents constitutes the sameness brothers share with each other, uh, um, uh, which is why people claim to be the same blood, the same root, and and such things. In other words, they share blood. They share. Now, this is interesting because this is the distinction here between uh, um, one is the, uh, the relationship, the, the parental care, and this, this kin basically is home. Uh, we would we would call this uh, 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 um, very much same. This is uh, this is homo uh, generous, right? They share the same gen genus. They come from the same relation. It's homogeneous, the same kin kin group, homogeneous sameness. Whereas sharing some interest, having the earlier relationship, this earlier paragraph above, this comes that what holds them together is not the shared sameness, but rather a common interest, right? A common bond, a common benefit, a common good. That's why it's a koinonia. And the, and, and the agreement is the good that they share in that sense. So that's why we have to understand that. But go back to this is why the uh, uh, it's not a mere contract. It's that, 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 that some common thing must exist in that thing, in those other relationships. But here, what is the common is the sharedness of kin relationship, right? They are, uh, uh, they are in some way the same thing. Therefore, even though this same thing resides in separate persons, so therefore, uh, but it's a great matter when it comes to. Uh, but it is a great matter when it comes to friendship, for both to have been brought up together, and to be a similar age, like a, a, a like age gladdens like age this is 43 in proverb that is quoted in the full form in human ethics and rhetoric as well as the uh, phaedra so for it's proverb in its full thing is there we get the short version here in other words age like age in other words friendship both to be have been brought up together and to be is of similar age like age like age gladdens like age and those who live together are common. So it's shared life together. Something shared, something grown up together. It's a great matter that they're sharing, being brought up together, living together. Hence, too, the friendship of brothers is like that of comrades. So the friendship of kin, siblings. Siblings have a twofold. They share the same origin. They share the same. They have a common heterogeneous origin. They share the same. They come from the same parent or they come from one of the same parents, right? This is, they have a common off uh, 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 parent, um, but they also live together. They, they, they grow up together. Uh, hence they too, uh, hence to the friendship of brothers like comrades. First cousins and other descendants are also bound by ties of kinship as a result of these things. Since they come from the same persons, right? Cousin, distance cousin. The, you know, first cousins, cousins, distance relationship. They come from the same source. This is homogeneous again. The relationship is homogeneous. And it's, again, it can be double fold. There is the one, the uh, common origins, and the shared life together, right? That's the common thing. But some are closer in kinship, while others are made more foreign by dint of being nearer or to or farther from the family's founder. In other words, in other words, the relation, uh, how close are you? How, I mean, are you closer or farther from the origin point of the same kin, kin group, the founding family? I mean, are you distance? You're very distance. Therefore, maybe the, the, the strength of bond is weak, weaker if you have big distance. But if you're closer to the source of this, you're stronger, right? So therefore, this is the kinship, at least from the point of view of the bond. The question is, uh, maybe, okay, you may be distantly, you might have distance, if you have like distance cousins, but then you sh go live together and share life together, then you might have a closer relationship. The sh you know, your comrades more than a, a, a kid. The, 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 the common sharing of life together may give it a stronger relation than the bonds and the family bonds. 
but the fam uh, but the family bonds are still there, but they're not as strong as the kin relationship. Whereas the kins, the first cousins may not be, uh, they may be first cousins, but they may not be uh, 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 in the same life experience or living at the same together, not sharing a life together in that sense. Again, so therefore you can get the same strength that this relationship is strong at one level, but different on a different level. So again, some uh, 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 some are closer in kinship, while others are more foreign, because of dint of not uh, being nearer to or farther from the kin family founder. The uh, friendship of children for their parents and that of human beings for gods. What is this? Notice this is very interesting. The friendship of parent children for their parents and that for human beings for gods is a friendship which what is good uh, is a friendship with what is good and superior so therefore this is the idea that 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 that, that, that it's a, it's a it's the father parent is superior is uh, with what is good and superior the father parent is good god is good is god is superior the god is superior the gods are superior for they have produced the greatest benefit um, the, the, the gods produced the greatest benefit. The parents gave birth to the child, and that's the greatest benefit. They are the causes of the child's being and his rearing and his education of those born. That's the parents' best, right? And this sort of friendship affords both what is pleasant and what is useful to a greater degree than does uh, that between unrelated persons in, so, in, in as much as their lives have been have more in common. In other words, that, that, that they have more in common. This is the 44, literally strangers and foreigners. But uh, uh, in other words, strangers or foreigners, I think. Literally, the word is uh, strangers or foreigners, probably. Uh, uh, okay, not, not, uh, but the idea is kin, right? So they're, they're in, because the relationship is discussion of kin, but I, I would leave the Greek literally. That, in other words, it, it is, the, the friendship of this sort of kin group is going to be stronger than that uh, 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 to a greater degree than between strange strangers in so much as their lives ha have more in common there are quantities of friendship uh, there are qu uh, 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 qualities of the friendship of brothers that are also found in the friendship of comrades so similarities so in other words they share in other words the friendship of brothers and the same have have you know, qualities that are kind of common right these qualities are present even more among those brothers who are decent and generally alike insofar as there is a closer french kinship among them than they uh, then and and they begin having affection for one another uh, from birth and insofar they share more of the same habits coming as they do from the same parents and having been reared and educated together. So therefore, this is interesting. He says, the, the, in other words, it's even better, stronger because of, uh, uh, in other words, the good qualities, they have the good qualities. In other words, these qualities are present even uh, 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 more among brothers who are decent and generally alike. Insofar, why? Because it's a close, in other words, in fact, the, the, the strength they'll be, in other words, the. The the good okay this this relationship of good uh, friendships who share friends who are not related but who have good based on the good good virtue they they share common virtue or they I say common virtue, they share their their friendship is based on virtue um, well okay it's good they share something similar it's similar to that of friend in other words the friendship and uh, friendships of comrades and friendships of brothers are similar in that they share the similar qualities, but the intensity, the friendship of brothers will be stronger in that sense. Why? Because they share the, not only the, uh, uh, they, even if they are the, they share good character, uh, even if they are, it is the, it is the virtue of good character, right? It's going to be, may, may be more stronger. Why is, why will be stronger? Because they, what? He, he says, uh, uh, in, uh, in that they have a closer kinship among them and they having affection from one another because of birth and insofar they share more has same habits coming from the same parents 
and having been reared and educated together. Also, their testing of one another over time is greater and more certain to brothers and kids than other friends. And what is and what can and what's conducive to friendship is present in proportion also among the rest of those who are kin. In other words, so therefore the same thing that you you know you can what is what is conducive to friendship is present in proportion also in uh, um, proportion uh, to the rest of those who can in other words those people who share the same kin lines in other words that, that, that there's the potency that it's conducive to kind of a what is these bonds of friendship these bonds of shared reciprocal care right the friendship between the a husband and a wife seems to be in accord with nature so therefore this is interesting that the friendship between the husband and wife seems to be in accord with nature for a human being is by nature more a coupling being than a political one so okay this is very interesting um again this is the line here that more of a coupling being that it's I like to pay attention. This is, is uh -oh. Yeah, a couple or a coupling being. <clears throat> so the coupling is that the more cu common to be coupling <clears throat> is by nature more a coupling being than a political one, insofar as a household is earlier and more necessary uh, 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 than a city necessary precondition for a city and the beginning of children is more common uh, uh, to animals so therefore uh, um, uh, uh, this is animals are going to be doing this for human beings are uh, is by nature more of a coupling being than a political one and in as much as a household is early so therefore this is kind of the contrary this seems to be that the No, this is the this is the argument. This is kind of where you can argue the position of uh, someone like uh, ha, uh, Locke in that sense. Locke can say, "Okay, con conjugal society is the condition that does this," but you have to go be careful about that. But Locke's conjugal society is this temporary; it's contractual. The child, there's nothing better than this. Um, here is something that is true that this comes together, the coupling more than the political one, insofar as the household, the, it produces the household, a life together, and more and more necessary than a city. That this, it's, in other words, it's, 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 it is an earlier develop, it, it is a, it provides things different than the city provides. In other words, the household provides necessary things that the city will, is, may not be able to deliver, okay? So the different stages of the uh, other words that this is a lower stage or than the household it's prior in terms of this terms of necessity the, the necessary things right it is the source of those necessary things and the, maybe that's why the city cannot replace the political cannot replace the household in that sense is much earlier and more necessary than a city and and the beginning of children is more common to animals. So therefore, this is a movie for animals. Among the other animals, then community exists to that extent. So therefore, they exist only to the extent of the family in that sense, right? The kin group in the in that situation. Among the other animals, then community exists to that extent. But human beings live together and not only for the sake of begetting children but also for the sake of things that contribute to life for the tasks involved are divided uh, um, divided in 
immediately uh, uh, of those of uh, of those of the husband being difficult uh, from, uh, different not difficult different being different from those of the wife the vision of labor right in other words that is not only for the sake of life but the things that what that, that contribute to of to life and therefore the tasks are divided immediately division of tasks division of labor one uh, husband being different from those of the wife. They assist each other then by putting their own things in service of what is common, the, you know, life together. Like, or their own activities, their own activity aims at doing this, this division. They divide up their behavior. But what what is being aimed at is the thing of their life together in common, right? What is common. So that they assist each other then by putting their own things in service of what is common. For these reasons, both what is useful and what is pleasant seem to be found in this friendship. So it's both useful and what is both useful and pleasant uh, seem to be found in this friendship. Uh, 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 though, though there would be such a friendship, though there would be such a friendship also on account of virtue. Should uh, 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 should they be decent? So therefore, if they, in other words, first it's useful and pleasant both. What is both the the, the family relationship, the common wife and the relationship of wife and husband? It's both that, and if they have what, if, but they also, if they also have virtue together, in other words, uh, 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 there would also be a friendship on account of their virtue if they are decent. If their characters are decent, then that is also a bond. We'll do it. So one is what is pleasant, what is useful, and what it's all three are present in this sense. Um, for there is a virtue belonging to each, a virtue belonging to each, the husband and the wife, right? And they would delight in a, 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 in a person of a, a, a comparable sort. So therefore, it's a, a virtue in that sense. The husband and wife have a certain virtue of each one, and they uh, will delight in a, a, a one of a compar comparable, a, a similar virtue or, 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 or a sort. And that, that's that, that's the kind of point is that they uh, that, that it, it it's it's, it's delight. Notice that delight. So it was not that they, they will delight tied to the pl something pleasurable, right? Um, uh, for their uh, uh, again, for there is the virtue belonging to each, and they would delight in a person of a comparable sort. Children too seem to be of common bond, right? Hence, childless couples break up more readily, since children are a good, uh, a good common to both parents. And what is common holds things together. The common holds the things that they share in common holds them together. So therefore, this is the problem. The children holds uh, be a comp children are a common bond. So, the argument is: what happens if if the only reason they come together is some low thing, utility or pleasure, and the common thing, only thing is the bond is the child? Then the conjug the things Locke gives us in his treatment in Second Treatise on the uh, you know civil society, which is talks about really the conjugal society, is if if it's only the child, then the child is gone, then the bond is gone, right? That's the problem. So therefore, this is why friendship is more important in this relationship, because the friendship between husband and wife is something that transcends the child. Because why? Because without those higher goods holding together and giving a common, the, it, without the child, they, they, uh, the relationship, if it's only based on the, that, it, uh, uh, what is pleasant, you know, pleasures deteriorate, get sick of them, each other. The pleasures you don't get, you know, you have to, you have to form new f forms of pleasure. If you can't do that, then the relationship will die, right? That if there's no pleasure, in other words, that's the problem with the pleasure relationship. The pleasure relationship, uh, um, once you don't get pleasures, or if one, part, you know, one party no longer pleasures, then there's no reciprocality and the relationship breaks down, right? And the same thing with utility. Once there's no utility, one party doesn't feel utility anymore in the relationship, then there's no usefulness in the and the relationship breaks apart. So this is what. The, the problem of the child is no longer there. Bond, then the, the, the absence of the, the common thing there, the family breaks apart again. So um, here is the problem here is that you need something more. The, this is why virtue is going to be essential in maintaining this kind of relationship because a shared common virtue, or not necessarily shared common virtue, but having something that you look at, something that attract, uh, something that delights you in that sense. Something, uh, a, the character that delights you, that keeps 
We keep the character and the same character keeps together. And this holds it together in fundamental sense. Um, uh, and therefore, uh, uh, what, uh, 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 in other words, again, what is common, therefore, the shared virtues, also the child holds things together. How a husband must live in relation to his wife and in general, uh, and in general, a friend in relation to a friend appears no different a thing to inquire into than how it is just to do so. Repeat that. How a husband must live in relation to a wife and, and in general, a friend in relation to a friend appears no different a thing to inquire into than how it is just to do so. For the just does not appear to be the same thing for a friend in relation to a friend as it is in relation to a foreigner, a comrade or a schoolmate. So therefore, it's interesting that the husband, now this discussion of husband related to wife and then a friend related to a friend, this appears to be no different a thing to inquire into uh, than how it is just relationship is just how justice is to do this however how for the just does not appear to be the same thing for friends in relation to a friend as it, in other words the relation what is just between friends is not necessarily what is just between what is owed to a friend is not necessarily what is owed to a strange foreigner a foreigner in other words what is due what is due what just what is just what is due to a friend is not the same as what is due to a foreigner or a comrade or a schoolmate. So therefore, each relation has a different justice in this sense, a different obligation sense of what is due, right? And this is how we end this thing, and this is where we have to end. So let's stop here. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below, and I'll respond to them when I see them. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, uh, um, uh, sh uh, sh uh, Thumbs up, thumbs up it. Uh, yeah, uh, share it. Share it on your social media. Share it far and wide. Uh, again, all this helps the algorithm. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing um, uh, to the channel. Encourage others to come join and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're uh, uh, new to the channel, again, please think about subscribing. Um, uh, also, uh, uh, and see, watch our other content. Now, if you didn't like what I did, you have a problem or an issue, you can always thumbs down. But say why in the comments. This way, people can learn and benefit. And maybe I, you know, we can. This is again, this the purpose of this is about educating people in that sense. Uh, if you want to find about more about me and my follow me on social media, you can follow the links below. If you want to know more about my research and my back uh, interests as a scholar and things like that, and see my scholarship and check things out. You can check my academic social media links that are below the social media links. If you want to help me do what I do and you want to be a patron or assist to financially assist what I do here, um, you can do so through Patreon or Subscribestar. Links are below. Another way you can help any of you want to help is you can buy one of my my books that are listed. The, the books that the currently available books are listed below. You can order them uh, through your local bookstore an online distributor like Amazon or Barnes & Noble or whatever, you know, Libris or whatever, um, or, 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 your, um, or through the publisher directly now. I'm told that you can't buy the U.S. University book anymore. You can order e-copies of it, uh, uh, PDF e-copies by the bookstore, but the hard copies are out of print. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe I have to do another edition. Oh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, and that's uh, how you can buy the book. So, therefore, that's it. I hope you do it. We'll turn the, next time. We'll look at chapter 13 of book, uh, uh, book eight. Take care and have a good day.